जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज कामी कंवर आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन आई टी डिपार्टमेंट इन अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक एरे दैट इज फ्रॉम दी सब्जेक्ट प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एरे इन प्रोग्रामिंग सी सो फर्स्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एरे वोट इज एरे Array is basically a collection of similar type of data. Means, uh, when we are, we want to deal with some uh, collection of uh, data, that means before array we are uh, dealing with a single vari a single variable store a single value. Like so, we have done int a. That means here we are having a variable a in memory. and now if we want to store a value suppose we want to store a value 10 then this value will be stored in this variable a now if we want to store a second value like a equals to 20 that means we want to store this 20 into a that means now this value is stored in this variable a but the previous value will be erased or the previous value will not be found when we want to print both the value together that means when we want to store multiple values when we want to store multiple values with the same variable name then that time we are going to use the concept of array array like here uh, is return is a collection of of similar type of data that means when we want to store multiple data in a with a single variable suppose uh, we want to store the marks of a class uh, uh, we want to store uh, the marks of the student in a class suppose we are having 70 student in a class 70 students in our class now we want to store these marks these 70 student marks in a uh, in a memory then what we have to do with a single name and the name is suppose uh, we are having a class 12th now we want to store this class 12th 70 students marks like this we want to store these mark but with same variable name before array we have we can store the values but with different variable name like for uh, first student we suppose a1 a2 a3 a4 up to a70 like this means if we want to store 70 student marks then we are, have to use these 70 type of uh, 70 variables means for storing these 70 students marks we have to initialize these 70 variables in our memory that means we we are declaring multiple type multiple variables but instead of declaring these multiple variables what we have to do we have to declare a uh, we have to declare array now what this array will do array with the help of this single variable name that means we are using only a variable name a and with this variable name we are going to store these multiple datas with the same variable name this is the concept of array okay that means array what is array array is a collection of similar type of data now what does it mean similar type of data similar type of data means we are having our uh, primitive data types like we are having int float uh, okay like we are having int float char these are the type of these are the types or you can say data types data type now what array will do if you want to store multiple datas but which data similar type of data if you are creating an array 
this is an array and you want to store the elements then only same type of data can be stored means if you are creating array now we are creating suppose in type array this is an array now this in type array what it will do it will just store in type data like 30 40 and 50 this is the in type data if you want to store float type data then again you need a second array and in this array only float type data will be stored like this only float type of data and if you want to declare an array of character type that time only a character type of data will be stored that means only character will be stored like suppose we want to add a b c d and e these are the character type array that's why if you are creating if you are declaring an array or we are using the concept of array that tell us that it is the collection of similar type of data first it is a collection of data why we are using the array array concept because with the help with single variable we cannot store multiple data multiple values then we are uh, including the concept array with the help of this array we are storing multiple values with a name single variable name okay now second point is it store only the similar type of data if you are storing integer type data then it will only store the integer integer type value suppose uh, like uh, take example of students again uh, suppose we want to store the marks name and uh, marks name and roll number then if you are storing marks then we have to declare a float type of array if you store name then we are declaring the character type of array and if you are declaring the roll number then we are declare uh, if you are storing the roll number then we are uh, declaring the in or uh, we are ma uh, making the integer type array okay but we cannot do like this suppose in a single array we just store marks like 50.5 50.5 percent marks name is suppose abc and roll number is 101 this type of uh, this type of initialization is not allowed in array that means this is the uh, different type of data okay one is of it is a float type one is of character type and the another is of um, integer type this type of uh, uh, initialization is not allowed in array okay the second point is elements of array are stored in contiguous memory location what does it mean uh, contiguous memory location is basically uh, where okay contiguous memory location support like when we are creating array okay like this our array, uh, our array is created now what does mean uh, what is contiguous memory location contiguous memory location is suppose we have declared int a this is an array we have created suppose size 5 array we are created now here with this variable with the name a variable our array is created and in this variable what will be stored the address suppose our address is starting from 2000 then 2004 2008 like this our uh, address is mentioned here now in this variable the address of first index you this is the index we can say a of 0 a of 1 like this this is the index we call in array index so our first position or our first index address will be stored in this array and this is the uh, you can say the internal pointer we call it internal pointer okay now and this is base address we call it base address okay now what is contiguous memory allocation we have only one address in our variable that is the base address with the help of this base address what we will do we can access all the elements of the array suppose we are having a size of 5 means our array size is of 5 now 
we have to, when we are going to enter the elements in the array then how it will enter and how we will access the elements of array only because of the contiguous or you can say the consecutive memory allocation means when we entered our first element the element will be stored in this base address and where is the base address here the first location suppose we entered 10 now the second element automatically will be stored here third element will be stored here fourth here and fifth will be here why why is it so because of the contiguous memory allocation only because of this concept our um, element will be stored in a continuous manner okay this is the concept of your contiguous memory allocation and the third point is it is a derived data type now what is derived data type like before we have uh, uh, learned about we, uh, our data type is of three is of uh, three type first is your fundamental data type we have uh, studied about fundamental data type second one is of your derived data type and third one is of your user defined data type user defined data these three category we are having uh, in our data types and the array concept will be comes under this derived data type we call array are a derived data type. these derived uh, these data is derived from your primitive data type. like we are uh, declaring int a like this is the declaration of array here what which data type we are using primitive data type and where we are using for array we are using this data type that's why it is a derived data, uh, type of data so that's it. that is the introduction of the array now this is the declaration of array like uh, we are declaring the uh, variable how we will declare the variable we are uh, like we are having the syntax data type and variable name like this we are declaring this normal variable for that data type suppose we are taking int int is a data type and what will be the uh, variable name any variable name you can uh, take uh, with the variables rule suppose we are taking a variable name uh, sum this is a variable name so this is the declaration of simple variable now how we will declare the array in array same syntax will be there but with little modification what is that we are having data type same data type because for declaring a variable we need data type then variable name that means we are declaring array name here we need array name because we are uh, creating an array and for that we need a size for that array this is the size of array size of array we are hearing using the size of array or you can say these bra uh, brackets are of subscript we are saying subscript subscript so this is the declaration of array how you can declare an, an array like this we are using uh, data type, variable name, and size of the array. Okay, for example, we are he here, you can see this is the normal declaration, a normal variable declaration, normal declaration. This is the array type declaration. Here we are creating an array of size 10. Now, what is this 10? 10 is the size of the array. Means, suppose here the array will be created size of 10 and what is this a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 these are the indexing a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 this is the indexing up to up to which if our size of array is 10 now the indexing will be up to 9 how indexing indexing of array is started from 0 to n minus 1 suppose our array size is of 20 if your array size is 20 like int a 20 now the indexing will be 0 to 
90 n minus 1 this is the concept of indexing and our array having indexing concept okay so this is if you are reading uh, our a of 0 that is your first index that means when we are going to uh, store the element the element will be stored in our first index that is a of 0 then the second will be a on a of 1 third will be on a of 2 and this is the base address your first address here are base address with the help of with the help of this single variable name are 10 up to 10 element we are going to store here this is the concept of array and this is the declaration of array and these are the indexing of array okay now the second uh, third thing is your type of array in our array concept we are having two types one is your one dimension array and second one is your multi dimension array okay in multi dimension we are having 2d and 3d first we are uh, going to discuss the one dimension array what is one dimension array here one dimension array means when we are having only one subscript what do you mean by one subscript means uh, uh, before this i am uh, discussing the declaration of array where what we have to do we are just passing the array size okay and the passing they, they where we are passing the array size that is your subscript okay here this is your subscript one dimension array contain single subscript that means one uh, data type array name and the size and this size you can say subscript somewhere you have uh, seen its name is subscript okay so what is one dimension when we are having the array uh, with one subscript that is your like uh, if you are taking one example for this like int a 10 that means a size of 10 we have okay like this yeah already we are having the example like this for this declaration we are having this like array name in this array name we are having the address of this first index like suppose we are having this and address is 2000 so in this we are having the address of 2000 and with the help of this we are accessing the further or rest elements like uh, this will indicate the a of 0 indexing and with the help of this we are storing the element in it or likewise we are storing all the elements up to n9 why n9 because indexing is from 0 to n minus 1 okay so this is the diagram of basically the declaration of array array how we will declare one dimension array where we are having only single subscript like 9 8 7 this is the single subscript and when we are having more than one subscript suppose we are having two subscript like this uh, int a like this this is the 2d array that we will uh, discuss in further slides now here we are just only one dimension array we will discuss okay so we have uh, discussed the declaration of array then uh, we we will see the first one example for that now we will check the how we will do the initialization of array what is initialization of array we, when we uh, how we can store the value like before this uh, you can see uh, suppose int a equals to 10 this is simple initialization that we are doing in our earlier programs in our simple programs that uh, we are having a variable a and in this variable what we are going to do we are going we are doing uh, initializing this is the initialization in simple without array this is the initialization of array that means uh, initialization of array that means we are uh, oh, sorry this is the initialization of uh, this 10 into a variable a that means this 10 will be stored in this variable a this is the simple initialization but in array how we will initialize the values this is the uh, simple format for initializing initializing the values in an array like first we are declaring the array int 
a, a variable name then we are giving the size and then we are inserting the value how we will initialize the value with the within this curly braces anything that is separated by comma we can store the values or we can initialize the value in the array so likewise because of its nature uh, is of uh, uh, contiguous memory allocation it will store the uh, values one by one in a continuous memory suppose th this is a a of 0 a of 1 a, this is the induction in indexing how it will initialize the value the first value will be automatically stored in its a of 0 location second will be on 2 3 4 5 likewise the elements of array will be stored here okay so this is the simple initialization uh, how we can initialize the value in your in our array okay now okay here this is the example already having we are having uh, likewise we are storing the elements in our array like int a uh, we are uh, having the values up to 1 to 10 now uh, in this indexing according to indexing the element will be stored in the array okay now this is the first program program to enter any element in an array and display them this is the first program that means how we will enter the elements in an array okay so uh, let's see first what we have to do we are just declaring an array here this is the declaration of array declaration we are creating an array of size 20 we are having this is the size of array we are declaring a size of 20 array now what we have to do enter the elements enter the number of elements how many elements you want to enter suppose we are having a size of 20 but how many uh, elements you want to enter suppose i want to enter n equals to 5 i am having size 20 this is the 20 bytes or you can size of 20 so this is the size but i want to store only five element one two three four five one two three four five okay this is our array so this is your our a of zero a of one a of two a of three a of four up to if our array size is five then indexing will be zero to n minus one that is zero to four so first we have entered the size of array okay so how many elements size of array means here how many elements you want to enter suppose here n equals to 5 we want to enter the 5 element now with the help of loop we are going to insert the element or we are going to initialize the elements this is the this is the runtime initialization uh, okay and this when we are uh, initializing like this this is the compile time initialization this is compile time initialization and when we are taking the input from the user this is the run time initialization for that what we have to do we have to using a loop in that loop with the help of this loop we are going to input our data input our value okay <coughs> So, this is the for loop <coughs> and this is for your printing the elements and this is also in the for loop. Okay. Um, thank you so much. <coughs>